y'all not starting at all is worse than failure so it doesn't make sense to me so think about this um a lot of people are scared to start because they're afraid to fail but not even starting is failing <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to me like literally if you're actually going after something doing it trying learning growing that's not failure not doing anything staying stuck staying where you are not growing not even trying that's failure and people have it twisted they think going after something and maybe messing up a little bit is failure but that's like the part of the process it's just part of how it all goes and how you learn and how you grow you know the best way to do it is to learn through experience so like looking back on on me like it's wild to think you know how much i've grown in a short amount of time you know while i've been doing this and while i've been doing my youtube like i've grown so much just in this short amount of time and i feel more comfortable on things like camera i can do things you know way more often in one shot than when i first started you know like that's just part of it. You get better as you do it, you know? And it's wild. Like, what if I had never started? Like, what if I was scared of failure in, you know, most people's term of failure and had never started? Like, it's wild to think. Like, I'm so glad I just started. I just committed to it, deciding I was going to learn as I went because I didn't, I don't, I didn't know it all. I don't know it all currently. <laughs> I don't know that I ever will know it all. You know, like you're always learning, you're always growing. You have to keep up with, you know, the current times, right? Things change. But uh, think about that. Change your mindset on what failure is. Like messing up, maybe you know, like taking a wrong turn. That's not failing. That is figuring it out, right? That's all part of it. So you guys start now and develop your skills as you go, okay? Just start, do something, okay? One sentence. You can, fill in the blank, this is the blank, okay? You can, whatever, if you're willing to put in the work. Oh, that's not fun to hear. <laughs> you were going to say, you were hoping I would say something else, huh? Well, it's true. You can literally do it, but you have to want to put in the work or you have to be, maybe not want to, because sometimes we don't want to, but we do it anyway. If you will, if you are willing to put in the work, okay, you can pay off your debt if you're willing to put in the work. You can start that dream job if you're willing to put in the work. You can learn a new skill that you wanna learn. For me, I wanna learn how to tie knots. I've just always been very intrigued by that. <laughs> and my dad was too, that's probably why I, I am. Um, and he could always, like, if we went on a trip, he could tie down everything so good and he would do these knots. And I'm like, that's amazing. So I need to learn how to tie knots. I want to. I want to learn all the different ones. And then I saw it in The Chosen, which I've been watching and loving. If y'all have not watched The Chosen, oh my gosh, you got to watch it. It's so good. Um, currently, they're on season three um so good you can watch i think the first season right now on netflix but the all of it is on the chosen app there's just an app it's free download it so good so good anyway uh there's a scene where the one of them simon simon peter was or they just call him simon um tying knots and i was and it and it came back to my memory i was like oh my gosh i want to learn how to tie knots <laughs> so i can if i'm willing to put in the time learn how to do it do it i can right i can you can have a successful relationship <laughs> if you're willing to put in the work like you can literally do it but you have to put in the work 
that's it. You just do. So if you want it bad enough, if you do, put in the work. Let's go. That's what we do here at Fort Kikui, okay? We show up. We work hard. We love God. We love others. We grow. Always, okay? So I want to talk about compliments, okay? So the best thing you can do with a compliment is not let it affect you either way, okay? Appreciate it always, like it, it right? It feels good to be, to be given a compliment. You're like, dang, yeah, you know, it always makes you feel good, right? So appreciate it and use it as feedback. So whatever, like, so for me with my business, you know, when people say something positive to me, I will take that and I'll use that as feedback to me, right? So I'm like, so people are like, oh, I love your teachings. I love your workouts. I'm like, okay, cool. Okay, this is good, you know? And then if someone's like, maybe it's negative, you know, like, you know, maybe you should try doing this or whatever instead or add this in, this would be better or something. You know, maybe that'll hit you like, you know, like that. But if you don't take it either, either way, you can just use that as feedback, you know? Like, if what they're saying is like, oh, okay, I'll take that into account, you know? Like, that, that might not be bad. You know, you don't have to use everybody's input, right? Because you just can't please everybody. But, you know, you can use that as feedback. But here's the thing. If you start caring so much about compliments or about what people say about you, you're going to start relying on that, right? Then your worth and whether you're doing things good or bad, you're gonna find that in the feedback of others. And that's not good because people, <laughs> they're never pleased, okay? <laughs> they're never pleased, right? So, I mean, some people are gonna be down. Other people are not gonna be down. If, say you get a comment, um, I haven't gotten this, but I'm sure I will, whatever. Like say someone says, you're too whatever, you're too skinny, right? Well, if you get skinnier, then, I mean, if you get, if you put on weight, then they're gonna say, you're too big. Like literally, sh meh, quiet the noise, don't listen to people, they're literally never pleased, okay? So that's why you can't take that, because then it goes deep inside you, okay? So use compliments, appreciate them, use them as feedback, but don't let them get down inside of you, right? Because then you're like, oh, I got a compliment, I'm doing things right. Why am I not getting any compliments now? Like, am I doing things wrong? Like, what am I doing? Should I change something? Is nobody liking what I'm doing? Oh my gosh, maybe, maybe, oh, right? And it just goes on and on inside your head. So just take compliments, appreciate them, use them as feedback, that's it. Don't let them steer you, direct you, or get down inside of you because that's not what should be showing you your worth and your value, okay? Just keep keep doing the things you know you want to do. And if you get compliments, cool, right? Cool, but that's about it, okay? I hope that helps y'all because I know a lot of people are people pleasers and those comments can really affect them, you know? So, hope you... Take that, run with it, run, <laughs> run. <laughs> like don't jog, run, <laughs> okay? Y'all, this is a quote by Tony Robbins. It says, stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. And that is so good, especially for me, how I used to operate more so, I'm better now. But um, sometimes it's hard for us to stay flexible, right? We have something in mind, right? And we wanna go in that direction, you know? And like stay the course, right? But then something happens, right? And you have to just flow. You have to be flexible because times change, things change, you know? There's like, you got Instagram down really well, you got YouTube down really well, and then they change something or they add something, and you're like, holy crap, now I have to learn something else? I just got that done, you know, or whatever. But that's just how it is. If you want to stay up, <laughs> you gotta stay with what's going on. And time out. 
Lord, Lord, give me patience. Everyone and their mother is trying to mow today. One yard was going, I was like, all right, I'm gonna wait. Then this yard gets going. I just, I don't know. They stop. Lord, you act quick, let's go. Okay, here we go, back to it. But anyway, you have to stay flexible, just like that. <laughs> Listen, you know, I have to film and I can't, there's certain times I can film, you know, so sometimes I have to do it anyway. I have to stay flexible, even if there's freaking people mowing their yard, right? That's what we got to do. You just got to flow, right? So be flexible in your approach, but, you know, stay committed to what you're doing, right? Don't let the things that change steer you off course, but just be flexible, right? And go with the flow. Yes. <laughs> the only failure is quitting. The rest is just gathering information. Okay. It's so true. That's literally what you're doing when you go after something, when you try, right? Go at it. Try. Learn. Probably mess up a little lot. That's, that's going to be in there too. But you're good. You're good, right? Because... A lot of people will say, I'll start once I know more. I'll start once this. But literally, you find all that out once you start. So it's like, doesn't make sense to me. Like, you just have to start. And then, like I said, like I said in the beginning, all of that is just gathering information. That's the whole process of it, right? It's only failure, because a lot of people are scared to fail, right? It's only failure if you quit, if you stop trying. So just go at it, try, mess up, keep going, you're good. That's success, that is not failure, that is success, okay?